All right, this is Alan. I'm going to show you a few quick things in Audacity that I think are pretty important to get going. Uh, first thing for your uh, input, um, you want to be using the microphone so you get some good sound. And uh, when you're ready to record, what you first do is uh, turn on this um, little uh, monitoring uh, view meter here. And you can see it gives you an idea of my sound levels. And if they're really low, you really want kind of the maximal input, you, um, you can adjust your um, sound level inputs uh, by raising it a little bit to the right or dropping it a little bit to the left. And generally, you want the peaks like being way out there on the right. See, I'm kind of bouncing to the right. If you go, if you go too far and you're hitting that max of that red there, you're going to get like bad sound. It's going to be maxed out. And if you get too low, it's going to be not very uh, audible and you're going to have to fiddle around. It's just not going to be good. So, I mean, usually the middle settings are good. I'll boost it up a little bit. And then we're ready to go. So um, then it's a matter of just uh, clicking record. And wow, I think I'm going to take a long walk and get my head straightened out. So I've just recorded something. And then um, we can just use our cursor tool and play it back. Um, I use the space bar. Um, the space bar is sort of the start and stop command. So if I want to start playing here in the middle, um, or if I want to here, I hit space, start, space, stop. So that's uh, one handy thing that uh, you want to do in um, Audacity. Um, and you know, with a, um, a track like this, uh, one of the things you may want to play around are some of the effects. So um, if I want to make it kind of a uh, goofy, maybe with this little bit of echo, make it sound like I'm in a chamber, and I can play it again. So that's kind of goofy. Um, but I think maybe what I'll just do is uh, maybe take the last half that I'll select, and then I can apply uh, the echo effect uh, just on that portion. So you can apply um, effects to entire track or the whole thing. And think of sound as just like uh, words. You can use your copy-paste command. So if this break is a little bit too long, I can remove it. A little get um, a little repeat. And then if I just want to play a section, I can highlight it and hit my play. So I like that and wow. But um, I think I want to like um, copy it. And then I can paste it. And I can paste it. I can paste it elsewhere. And then you get things like... Um, you know, obviously, with you can do things like in the beginning. I have, think I've got a little bit. I got a little junk, so I'm going to take that out. And so again, you can copy paste things uh, around the timeline, um, and that's a big deal. So uh, play around with that, remove things, try some of the effects, and, and reverse, etc. But the real power of um, using Audacity and sound editing is the way you can layer things. So um, we want to build like a whole sonic layer. That's just my voice track for this little demonstration I'm going to do. So now what I'm going to do is going to go to File, uh, Import, Audio, and I got some um, stuff I left on my um, on my drive somewhere. Now I'm going to see if I didn't exactly prepare this right. DS106, Audio, Arg. <laughs> Alan, where did you put your stuff? <laughs> Organizing stuff into folders, Audio, Audio stuff. So I, I have a few different sound files. Um, so first I'm going to, um, I think I'll just bring them all in. I got some music, some T-Bone Shuffle. I got some sound effects I downloaded from uh, Freesound, uh, Goals and C and Walking. Let's just do the sound effects first. So I did a shift click to multiple select them and you click open. And um, these are going to be all brought in on their own track. So I've got my walking track right there and I've got my Goals and C right there. And my original uh, sound is right up here. And you see it got kind of compressed because these other sounds are longer. So I often use my little magnifying glass to kind of move in on this. So now when I start playing, what's going to happen? It's going to be confusing because I just brought all these things. And when I start playing, all right, so um, I do have those layers, and they're all kind of stacked, but they're a little bit uh, competing with each other. So what I want to do is I want to start off with the goal sound. So actually, my time shift tool is, is pretty interesting. So I want to move my audio track down a little bit in time so I can begin um, with this kind of base of um, the goals. 
Um, the walking one, I'm actually going to mute for now so it doesn't interfere. So now just to double check, in the beginning I've got the goals. So I got those uh, seagulls pulling there. I'm going to pull this soundtrack a little bit right here for my little walking on the thing. So it gives me that sense that uh, I'm walking on the beach. But right here in the middle when my voice comes in, like my voice is being overpowered by the goals. So what I want to do is play around with the sound levels. And I really like this thing called the envelope tool up here. And what this does is this gives you a sense of where the volume levels are um, on your sound. So what I want to do is like have those goals come in like really loud in the beginning. But when I start talking, I'll click here to create one point and here for another uh, pivot point. And see, I'm dragging this thing down. That decreases the volume of the goals, so it'll be a little bit more muted. So now when I play it back, I've got the loud goals at the beginning. All right, that's still a little bit loud, so I'm just going to like drop this pivot point a little bit and just make this really soft. Um, and right, I'm gonna start playing here. Now, one thing that's happening, you know, is I kind of run out of goals. So um, I'm going to just uh, see if I can do a little copy paste here. I'm going to copy this. I'm just going to paste it right on in there, and you see, I even kept the volumes that I wanted. Whoops. Um, volumes that I wanted um, so it goes out I'm like flying all over here uh, so if I come over here now I get um, and I may even want to put um, one more because I'm gonna have some uh, other things going on whoops let's copy this again so what happens when you do a seat of the cuff uh, demo um, and when I get out here I may want to just bring that sound back up again because I'm done talking and just make the uh, goals come in a little bit stronger. So that's my sort of uh, background noise of these seagulls. Um, I also have this sound effect of um, walking footsteps. So, um, and I want to put that shifted out even farther in time. Um, and it's, you can see just from looking at the waveforms uh, that the volumes and that is not really all that loud. It's kind of a, um, uh, real subtle effect. So I'm going to mute the um, goals a little bit, just to give you a sense of what these uh, footsteps sound like. Go back to the cursor tool so I can play. So what we have is just kind of the sounds of um, some footsteps uh, going off. Uh, and I'm going to mix it in with the goals. And although I said I was going to boost the sound, uh, I think I'll keep it low. In fact, I'll maybe like make it even lower. So we really want the um, uh, bits of the um, footsteps to come through. So if I go back to here and play, we got so we have kind of a nice ambient effect there of the goal still going um, and my footsteps going out um, off in the distance. And actually the footsteps are going to go on by themselves. Um, and that footstep track also has its own little bit of ambient sound mixed in, a little bit of bird twinkling. So um, kind of maybe I wanted a sense of isolation going on here. Um, the last thing uh, that I'm going to do, and I'm actually going to, let's see, uh, bring in one more. I have um, a little bit of music. Uh, maybe to bring in as a little bit of what we call bed. It's a little bit of T-bone shuffle. Uh, so this is going to be a long file because it's a full song. Um, and what I want to do is maybe have that be uh, going on um, as I'm walking out. So I'm going to use my time shift tool again here. Uh, that'll come in as the kind of the goals fade out and the music comes in. And now the music just kind of barges in. So I always like if the sound starts abruptly, I'm going to select the beginning of that. Go to filter, fade that in. So we get a little fade in. So I'm walking. All right, so the music is sounding good, rocking, but it's really um, kind of dominating. So I will uh, bring my 
some things in again and just drop that whole thing so we get it soft. And then maybe once my footsteps are gone, I'll boost it up a little bit so we get a little better T-bone action here. So now we get, let's see what happens. Walking. I'm crunching, walking over T-bone walker. I'm thinking deep thoughts. I'm walking in the woods. Rocking along. This is uh, some buddy guy. And basically, I don't want to play this whole song. So uh, more or less, what I'm going to do is, uh, let's see if I can uh, figure out how to do this other tool. So I'm going to select uh, this portion of my music. That's really all that I want. And I'm going to use this um, trim tool, which means it cut out everything except that part that I selected. But well, you know what's going to happen is it's going to end really abruptly. So what I'm going to do is select this again, do another effect, and we're going to fade out. So we get a nice little smooth end. So I have my, you know, a little bit of walking uh, music. Uh, I've got a couple sound effects. Uh, if I just get this uh, going uh, again with a full zoom, sorry, flying all over the place. Um, Really, the power of the audio is in this uh, stacking of things on top of each other and controlling the volumes through these audio settings. Um, so uh, the sounds, you can sort of pick which dominates and which are background sounds. But that combination layering of sounds is what makes audio really effective uh, when the layers. And often it's very subtle, you know, the, the different sounds. So um, you can stack in many different things. You don't want to crowd it too much. but Think about the differences between music as a background, the um, sort of things that are called effects or Foley effects, um, and then whatever audio that you may have. But uh, layering is the key. And then the last thing, of course, is uh, saving uh, in Audacity. So um, when you save an Audacity file, this is kind of like um, in Photoshop or um, it's like the master original working file. So um, it's going to save this. Um, um, I'll just call this walking. It's going to say this as a .aup, which is not a sound file. It's like the project file. So it's what you're going to want to save so you can come back later and re-edit um, your audio. But the important thing is now what you're going to do is you're going to export. Um, and I'm going to, I want to get mine set to MP3. Let's see, audio stuff. Um, and then when I save it, and uh, if you don't have your lame encoder installed for Audacity, you'll get an error here. Um, it's going to come up with so this thing called um, metadata, and this is sort of some information that goes along um, with the um, sound file, so your iTunes will know uh, what kind of information is in it. Um, now it's picked up all the stuff from this uh, soundtrack that I have, but I'm going to change this. Sometimes this comes in blank, so I'm going to put my name in here. Uh, the name of my track title is basically the title of this project, so uh, walk in with Buddy. Um, my album title is going to be DS106 is for life. This really doesn't matter. The rest of the stuff is not really critical. This is just all stuff that comes from typical music uh, genre. Comments have no idea what that is. So, didn't do a good job of deleting this. Lousy live demo. And get rid of this. And I'm going to save it. OK. Letting me know that in the final, um, it's going to be mixing down, which is just the format of uh, MP3. Since I saved my Audacity project file, um, that means all the tracks will be mushed down to two tracks. Um, and now I have a final MP3 um, somewhere on my desktop. Do, 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 DS106. Uh, teaching, I should be playing the music in the background, audio stuff. So uh, here I have my walking uh, sound, which is now just a single. Uh, file and people and you can see it's using wow. my metadata right wow. here and wow so pretty simple demo um, not the greatest thing in the world but just wanted to give you an idea of some of the commands um, that I use a lot um, in audacity 